Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and crash educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today, I wanna to demonstrate a really neat project by Mod Podge. It is the Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge. So if you are familiar with crafting at all, if you've seen any of our videos, you've seen us use Mod Podge, you can use it to seal various uh, products and uh, crafting products. Um, but I had we hadn't used the Dimensional Magic before. My aunt texted me and asked me about it. So I looked it up a little bit. We have done a live demonstration on this. You can check that out as well. Uh, but it's a pretty neat little product. So originally when the Dimensional Magic was created, it was back in the scrapbook era when all of that was really big and popular. And it was used, it was created and used to give that kind of domed glass effect over stickers and scrapbooks. So it's really neat. Um, it is sort of self-leveling. It is acrylic based, so it will break down if you use it with water, if you like submerged whatever you are sealing it with in water, or uh, it's also non-toxic, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about the fumes and things like that that you might with resin. I know that's a concern with a lot of people. However, it is not food safe, so you don't wanna put food directly on top of products and crafts, craft crafts, excuse me, that you have sealed or embellished with this dimensional magic. It is a little bit softer than resin. Um, you can dent it, you can break it, but you can break resin as well. And when I'm talking about resin specifically in this, I have UV resin in mind. Um, I, I feel like it's sort of interchangeable with some projects with UV resin, um, especially with ac acrylic keychains. Uh, we'll go to the overhead in just a few minutes and show you, but it is a really great sealer for that. I would not seal cups uh, like I would seal resin with the Dimensional Magic because it does break down in the water and it is not food safe. Um, so it's not interchangeable in all aspects, but in some projects it is. So let's go to the overhead really quickly and we will look at this keychain, the acrylic keychain that's already finished and you can see what it looks like finished. And then I'm gonna show you how to easily mix this Dimensional Magic with some glitter and place it on a blank. We'll show you how easy it is to apply and to level and uh, to make it look really cute. So here we have these acrylic blanks. I just got these from Hobby Lobby and it's the really cute little motel key type keychain. Um, and we took some dried flowers, from, dried and pressed flowers that we got from Timu, placed them on here and then just took the Dimensional Magic placed it all over and let it set and dry. The cure time for the Dimensional Magic is 24 hours. It doesn't generally take that long if you're doing a thinner layer like this, um, but they say 24 hours, so I generally don't touch it just in case. When you put the Dimensional Magic over top of things like this with a clear background, it looks kind of scary because it comes out milky and you think that it's, it's not going to be translucent but it dries clear like this and it's really pretty. So I am really impressed with this product. The cool thing about the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, we got it at Hobby Lobby and it was $6.99 full price for two fluid ounces. So it's really affordable. Um, of course at Hobby Lobby and at other craft stores, you can get products like this when they have them on sale, whatever weekly sale they have might cover the Mod Podge. So you can get it even cheaper than that. The other thing that's really nice, and I did mention it earlier a little bit, is that resin has a kind of stigma with it. A lot of people are afraid of using UV resin and AB resin because of the fumes that it puts off sometimes. Um, proper PPE is always really stressed with the UV resin and you don't have to worry about that with this product because like I said, it is non-toxic. You can touch it with your hands, you can apply it with your fingers, move it around with your fingers. You just need to make sure that you wash your hands uh, really well after you have used it. But um, that is one example. Here is another example of what you can do with this. You can kind of see this is domed up. I've mixed it with glitter and put it in these cute little cat charms. And then what you could do is place a vinyl on top of this. Like if you wanted to put a monogram or a name or something like that, you could put vinyl on top of it and then hit it with another layer of the Dimensional Magic to seal it in. So you can create jewelry with Dimensional Magic very easily. Now, another thing that I wanna show you here, it's kind of like the jewelry, 
is I'm going to just put a layer of Dimensional Magic with glitter on here so that we can see how easy it is to mix it together and to apply. So all I have is a disposable plastic cup. I'm going to place some of the Dimensional Magic in here. Do not shake up your Dimensional Magic. If you do that, it will create bubbles in it and you don't want bubbles in there. Now, if you do happen to get bubbles in yours, because while we're stirring the glitter into it, there could be bubbles, you know, we're whipping air into it, whether intentionally or not, when we put the glitter in there. So you can spritz it with a um, bottle that has alcohol in it and pop those bubbles if you need to. Now we just have some Element OP Design Boutique glitter that I'm gonna put in here. This color is, let me look it up for you really quickly, Surf's Up. It's a really pretty one. Just apply a little bit of glitter there. Now I will say if you are mixing the Dimensional Magic with glitter and putting it in a mold, you need to be careful with how much glitter you put in there. If you put too much glitter, then the ratio becomes off and when you take it out of the mold, it's sort of brittle. So be careful with that. But once I get this stirred, I'm just gonna place it on here. And like I mentioned earlier, I can use my finger if I want to, um, or I can use this popsicle stick to kind of move it around. It has a jelly, almost light consistency. The consistency is really similar to UV resin. It's a little bit thinner, but it moves around very easily. And so once we get this coated, we would just let it set and dry. And then, like I mentioned with the jewelry, I could take a vinyl layer that has like our dog's name or just woof or something like that. If I wanted to make this into an ornament, I could do that, it would be really cute. Um, but this is just gonna give it a really cool glassy domed look. You might notice that I am working on this silicone mat here. We love to use silicone mats for projects like this because as you can see, I'm kind of dropping some here and there and um, it will clean up very easily. Once this dries on here, I can just pop those dried pieces of Dimensional Magic or UV resin or whatever I'm using off of this and continue to use the mat. So it's really nice for easy cleanup. I will say the Dimensional Magic, uh, because it does have a longer cure time, you're going to want to work with it in a spot that you don't have to move it. I don't wanna have to move this unless you could put this on like a cookie sheet so that you can easily lift it and move it. But since this is um, way too kind of fluid, I don't want to move this so that the Dimensional Magic accidentally slides over to the side and runs over or something like that. But that's how easy it is. So I would just let this set for a few hours, 24 hours full for curing, and then put that vinyl on it, coat it again in another one and have some really cute projects. So. Mod Podge Dimensional Magic has been around for a long time. Like I said, it is new to us here at Oak and Lane. We've just never used it, but I am really impressed with this product. Add it to your craft room. I think that you'll have lots of fun with it um, and let me know what you create with it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of this fun product. If there are other products like this or anything craft related that you are interested in learning about, let us know. We are always looking to demonstrate and to test out new craft products. It is something that we love here at Oak and Lamb. Other things that we love here at Oak and Lamb are getting to craft with you and our flock members. Here at Oak and Lamb, we have a subscription-based membership where you get access to our entire library of cut files that you can use with your Cricut or die cut machine, whatever you have, and your laser cutters, sublimation printers, and so much more. We teach you how to do all things crafty here at Oak and Lamb. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. It is free to do that, and you can turn on notifications and get notified every single time we go live or post content here. If you want a little more, if you want a crafting community, if you want member-only content like our podcast and our member-only videos, as well as access to our, our private Facebook group, then join the membership today. We have lots and lots for you here at The Flock. We love crafting, we love our community. I wanna invite you to use the code 20OFF, that's 20 off, to get $20 off your annual membership here at Oak and Lamb. It makes the year $179, which is less than $15 per month 
And the cool thing about this promotion is that it auto renews at that discount in price. Let us know if you have any questions about the membership, this project or anything other craft related and leave those comments down below. We'll see you here another day for another video.